Hey YouTubers, uh, Grimmy back with a quick part two for my video review of G1 Starscream. Um, just a couple things I couldn't quite get in the uh, first part. Um, as you can see, Starscream looking great as I got into on the first part. Um, but I wanted to get into his box for the TF Collection. Um, the TF Collection series is by far one of the best they've done for it. Um, the boxes are beautiful. You got Dreamwave comic covers here, like cover, like Dreamwave art covers on up front. Um, side is nice. It's nice and thick. Got the side with the Transformer Collection. They're numbered. And on the back, you got all the information. Like you got the uh, what it comes with, the modes, two modes, and the advertisement about how Megatron is used. The also availables, and all the information on what's in the little booklet that comes with it, comes with this, which I'll get into right now. You see the first page, a good shot of the original look. Episode guides. <laughs> Butterfingers me. Um, more episode guides. Uh, nice poster. Let's see if I can get that all in view. A nice poster of the Seekers. And on the back, you got images of other figures like Galvatron, Ratbat, Trypticon, and Runabout and Runamuck. Also, you got bios here for Blitzwing with the uh, figure information on the back, and of course Starscream, and with the what it looks like in like the original looked like, with all the information, and a nice little display piece where they had them all showing stuff. Um, yeah, the box is very nice. Um, for Starscream, I didn't get a chance to get into this a little bit better. Um, the missiles on the, uh, Japanese reissues are the actual same as the original 80s release. Uh, no, which is unlike the Hasbro reissues. Uh, hold on a sec, I'll be right back. This is Thundercracker's uh, missile from uh, Hasbro Commemorative Collection. And here is Starscream's Takara reissue. As you can see, Thundercracker's missile is a lot bigger. This is just due to uh, new toy laws and such. Um, the um, Hasbro Commemorative series also had these kind of missiles, but uh, they were like this little end on a huge stick. So it stuck out like a few inches from the missile launcher. Eh. So again, I'm going to say if you're going to get a reissue of the uh, Seekers or anything with a missile launcher for that matter, try to get the Japanese reissues doesn't necessarily have to be the TF collection, but the Japanese reissues are better. Okay. And there is one more feature that I want to get into, and that is the Optimus Prime Fist. Um, as you can see, it's molded much like Starscream's fists with the hole on the top and the peg on the bottom. So you can see hole and peg. This is so Prime can hold Megatron, which he's done in a couple episodes. And to illustrate this point, I'm going to bring out 
D1 Optimus. So let's see. You take off his regular fist. Uh, I'm going to take a quick peek to note that uh, the reissues for Optimus actually have a like a bit more of a protrusion coming out the top of the fist so he can hold his weapons better. Um, the original 80s version does not have that feature. And, okay, plug in the special fist there. Sorry about the arm view, but... Take Megatron. Top goes here. Uh, it fell off, yeah. Bottom goes there. Doesn't go in very tight. Um, but yeah, it's a good set, good fit. If you want to display Prime like that, you can. It's an option. You don't have to, but uh, yeah. Okay. My Prime is very tight on the joints, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> Dire Screen, you did something bad again, and now both Prime and Megatron want to kill you. Better look out. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's a nice little addition. I mean, if you got both... Uh, if you got both Dire Screen and Prime, you know, which most G1 collectors will have, I mean... You don't have to have both of them to be considered a fan. I mean, but it really... It's something that most fans would want. Um, yeah, and... Because these two guys are icons. Like... These, these along with Megatron, Devastator, and maybe Jazz, are like some of the most iconic characters on the series. Also Grimlock. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there are a few iconic characters that most collectors feel like they must have. These two are on the top of the list. Okay, um, but yeah, this is all I got for this review. Um, so feel free to comment, subscribe, and let me know if there are any other guys that you want to see. Okay, and hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you later.